What has been like the biggest surprise for you about OnlyFans from like when you started it to where you are now? Like, mm. and maybe even about the people specifically that are on it. Like, did you ha come into yeah. it with like, certain expectations or a certain idea and then you feel differently now? Yeah, no, it's kind of funny because you would think I would come into it with like some expectations or some preconceived notions. And I didn't have too many of those thoughts, which kind of glad because I didn't have to like retrain myself at all. Um, but I two twofold. One, I got a lot of personal growth out of this actually. Like that's by far probably the most surprising thing out of that. Like I feel much more secure in myself and my body and my image and like I speak more confidently and like I've learned like to push myself in in situations where I may not have tried something and like I've learned a lot more about like oh I like this or I don't like this or hey I I wow I am capable of doing these things like just like a lot of personal growth so like forever grateful for that because I would not be who I am today without that um so that I love that I absolutely love and adore and then I think the second part is definitely the fans like they it's a bit of a pain point for me because they get such a bad rap from like the gen pop if you will of like oh you're you know you subbed an OnlyFans girl you must be you know they think the worst of them and it's very funny now because now that I've started doing social media I I am like so spoiled with my OnlyFans community. They are so positive. They're willing to give me feedback. I'm like, hey, look, guys, I know I know you're really super upbeat, but like tear this, you know, this post apart. Tell me what feedback I need to do. Tell me how to get better, et cetera. And they're so there and dedicated. And then I'm like, I go on social media and like the comments are so just like mean. And I was like, oh my God, you guys are so yeah. <laughs> unhappy. <laughs> so um, anyways, I think the fans on OnlyFans are amazing and actually like really stand up people and very dedicated very like just just nice people that are there yeah. for you like they selectively chose to follow you for a reason so they really want to be that they're invested in you so i just try to reciprocate that as much as possible but i wish people would understand that they are humans too and they are not lesser than or anything like that so that's a pain point for me but. yeah no i hear you i mean it's funny about how like the people who are willing to you know pay money to you know chat or interact with you are you know, the ones that are like the the people that you want to talk to, right? Like the, the yeah. they're not like they're not gonna pay so that to insult you. But then you go on like social media and all these people who can follow you for free are just like, <laughs> You stupid bitch. It's just like it's it's crazy. And I mean crazy. I rem I remember so I don't get like I mean I definitely get negative comments, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not too bad compared to what I know a lot of performers see. Okay. And I rem I remember yeah. specifically I collaborated with Adriana Chechik on a Instagram post. Okay. And so, you know, okay. we get comments from from both yes. from both people and oh my god. The things that people say to her, like I I just I couldn't fucking believe it. It was yeah. so mean and like aggressive and like like I wish she would die and it was just like oh really my god. insane. You know? Whoa. I know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no. Oof. I, I, don't, I can't I can't say that I read all my comments because I definitely don't, but maybe yeah. there's one of those hiding, but that seems like next level, like they're having I a think really bad probably Yeah, I think because she's, you know, like she's a very, um, she's very popular and she's a very like out there performer and she's done a lot of like crazy yeah. shit, right? Because she's just mm -hmm. like one of those kind of performers and I, and I love her for that. Um, yeah. That, you know, she you get a lot of people like projecting their own sexual insecurities onto her and, and it's Yeah, it's that's nuts. fair. Yeah, it's really. Yeah, it's. It's. it's, it's and I mean, like, much more about themselves than than oh, <laughs> than you always, subject. <laughs> always, whenever someone's mean to you, it's always about them. It's like never about you, and that's yeah, one thing that, I think I've definitely learned over the years. That seems fair. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, because it's like, you go on OnlyFans, and you know it is generally full of a lot of like really nice people who are like just looking to connect and support somebody, yeah. right? So the oh, whole yeah. idea of getting on the platform is on a positive note, as opposed to, you know, sometimes on social media, it's just like people who are just looking for someone to attack to make them feel better about themselves. But then obviously there's exactly. also like really lovely people on social media too. So it's, it's a bit yes. of both, but. Uh, I find a lot of my, dedicated fans end up following the social media and then they add to, to the niceness in there so i'm like yeah oh, there they are you know i love yes. that so that that's much as good but 
Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.